I watched that video with Leonard Fournette a couple of times yesterday. And I know you get caught up in emotion, but when I'm going to be slapping a, a defensive lineman and he's got a helmet on, like it feels like there has to be another way to attack somebody if you're going to really want to fight them. And I think if they've got a helmet on and you're smacking the helmet, I'm going to give the other guy points, uh, you know? But th this is a guy who's been injured and you come back and then you do something stupid and then you get suspended. I also saw something as well uh, that had to do with what's going on in Jacksonville. This was on ESPN.com. And it has to do with Blake Bortles. It feels like Blake Bortles is still going to be on the roster with the Jags when they go to training camp next year. Peter King yesterday said, I don't see a scenario where he's back with his team. But this has to do with money. Remember when we looked at that uh, off-season extension? I went, oh, no. Well, why would you do that? Well, it was all based on that momentum of we went to the AFC title game and we're that close. And Blake played reasonably well. And then you go, okay, let's not disrupt this. We got a really good defense. We got a running back. We've got a quarterback who's playing better than we thought he was going to play. Let's not mess this up. So they sign him to that three-year, $54 million extension. That's, uh, and and he, he gets a $1 million roster bonus, payable on the fifth day of the 2019 league year. So that guarantees $6.5 million of his uh, salary. So in addition, and I know this is all you know jumbled numbers and math, the Jags would have to count $16.5 million in dead money against the salary cap if they cut him before the 2019 league year begins. That figure drops to $11.5 million after June 1st. So he's got a salary cap number of $21 million if he stays on the roster. So what do you do? Do you pay him and keep him, or do you get rid of him and then you got all that dead money? Yeah, see. But doesn't that seem like probably the most combustible locker room in the NFL? The Jaguars. Yeah, I think the Raiders are, you know, well past that now. But, I mean, in terms of, uh, like, just explosive disagreements, right? You have Fournette just got thrown out of a game for fighting. You have Jalen Ramsey, who never stops talking and is clearly a problem there. You have a whole bunch of guys who are, there's, like, an attitude issue within that locker room. Yeah. Can you really afford another year of, like, well, we had Blake Bortles and we paid him all this money. Let's just get through this year, too. It feels like this is the year that you kind of had to suffer through, and then you have to make a change. Yes, but who are you bringing in? That's the key. Because I do think, I don't think you have great quarterbacks in the draft. I mean, you might. You know, I, I don't know how good Haskins will be uh, from Ohio State. Or, you know, Justin Herbert is a, supposed to be the next Dan Marino or John Elway with all this hype. But because he is the focal point, because there aren't a lot of quarterbacks, he's going to be hyped up even more. So who are you getting? But if you don't get to, so you don't take anybody this year, you go bridge quarterback on them. And then in the next year or two, the draft will probably be better with quarterbacks than it is this year. This is kind of a down year, but the next two years after that might be good. But you're wasting a, a two more years with that defense and Leonard Fournette. Like you have to, this is now. Like you had the Patriots on the ropes and you have to do it now. If you can salvage this. But, you know, if they continue to lose, I wouldn't, you know, pencil in Doug Marone as your head coach next year. If it continues to go this way, where you have this locker room that's fractured, you have a team that has a quarterback that they can't count on. Now he's been benched for Cody Kessler. But I'm thinking if you could get, you know, do you make a big deal? Make a trade? Do you try to bring in Matthew Stafford? Um, you know, Teddy Bridgewater? Do you bring in Eli? And I don't know. But I, I can't imagine going to training camp with Blake Bortles right now. Just can't. Because that defense, there's no way that defense, it, you know. And Jalen Ramsey's not going to stay silent with this. I mean, he stayed silent with his quarterback. He's ripped every other quarterback. But let me hear what he has to say after the Super Bowl. You know, what's all said and done as they move in. Or training camp with uh, Blake Bortles. But I, I, don't, I don't see that happening. You know, Jameis Winston, where is he next year? There, there are going to be quarterbacks who are going to be moving on out of jobs. And the question is, where will they land? But Jacksonville, even though, I, I mean, I'm going to have to eat some money there, but I, I, I have to do that for the betterment of this team moving forward. I have to say to that locker room, 
we are trying to be better, to get better. And you're not going to get better with Blake Bortles, at least in my opinion. For more Dan Patrick Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV or download the Dan Patrick Show app.